Welcome to another example from Chapter 4 in OpenStax College Physics based on force problems. This is an example that has all of our common complications. So we have a ramp. We've started to see how to deal with those. So we'll see how that plays a role here. We have two separate objects that are connected together by a rope. And we're going to have the force of gravity at an angle relative to our new coordinate system that we'll have to break into components. So that list that showed up in our lecture video a couple of times, that tells us all of the possible things that can make these force problems harder. And this particular example, and many that you'll see on homeworks and tests, have all three, but we'll show that we can handle it just as easy as any other problem if we just take it one step at a time. All right. So the first thing we need to recognize is that when we have two objects, we must draw two separate free body diagrams. So we'll start by drawing the free body diagram of the three kilogram block, because that's the one that we also have to be aware of our other standard practice with ramps, which is to draw an angled coordinate system. So we have the x-coordinate along the ramp and the y-coordinate perfectly perpendicular to the ramp. We are only changing the coordinate system for this 3 kilogram block because it's the one that's going, that has motion at this same angle that we're talking about. All right, so when we draw the free body diagram, which is our map of the whole problem, we know that gravity is acting on this 3 kilogram block straight down because gravity doesn't care if we're on a ramp or not. For this three kilogram block, we have three times 9.8. And so the force of gravity is 29.4 newtons. Now we are on a surface for this three kilogram block. So we have a normal force that is perpendicular to that surface. And so based on the way in which we tilt our coordinate system, this is in the y direction. And drawing it first helps us understand how to break gravity into two pieces. Step one has always been and will continue to be go away from the normal force, so FGY, and then go down the ramp along our tilted angled X direction, FGX. Every time we do this, the original arrow has to be the longest one because it, it is still our hypotenuse. With this 30 degree angle, we can write that this is 29.4 sine of 30 degrees. And we can write that this is 29.4 cosine of 30 degrees. Oops, 30, not 35. All right, we also have here a rope. A rope is attached to this block, pulling it up the ramp which means that this is a tension force that points up the ramp. We're told that the incline has no friction, so we do not have a friction um, force that would be pointing against the motion. This thing is moving and accelerating in the x direction, so the positive direction will be in the direction it's moving, this tension force pulling it up the ramp. All right, we have dealt with the three kilogram block. Now we move our attention to the two kilogram block. So the free body diagram of the two kilogram block is a little bit simpler. We have gravity acting on it. So gravity is straight down as gravity tends to be. And we've got two times 9.8, which is 19.6 Newtons. We also have the rope attached here, and so that rope is trying to pull it upwards. That rope is slowing down its descent because if we cut this rope, then the block would fall a lot faster. So the tension is slowing it down, pulling it backwards a bit. It is, however, going to, um, because this three kilogram block is moving up the ramp, the whole system goes around this pulley and this thing is accelerating downwards. So the acceleration here is downwards, and that becomes our positive direction. All right, so we have drawn the free body diagrams. That's always the starting point. 
And then as we've seen in every example so far, we need to use Fnet equals MA. Because we are trying to find the acceleration, we're caring about the direction that the acceleration is in. For the three kilogram block, so for the three kilogram block, we're writing F net X equals M A X using our tilted coordinate system X. Based on our free body diagram, if we look, there are two forces that we have to write in this equation. The force that is in the direction of acceleration is the unknown tension. The force that is opposite the direction of acceleration is our force of gravity. And then the mass here is 3, and the acceleration is A. I'll do one more step here. So the 29.4 sine 30 degrees is 14.7. That way I can just write it out over here. So tension minus 14.7 equals 3 a. Right now, that's as far as we can go. Two unknowns in an equation means we need a second equation. So now we turn to the two kilogram mass. For the two kilogram mass, the acceleration is in the y direction. So we're using the specific y direction for this mass. So the force in the direction of acceleration, which is currently downwards, is 19.6, minus the tension, because that is opposite the direction of acceleration, equals the 2 kilogram block times the unknown acceleration A. This equation then also has two unknowns, but it is the same two unknowns. All right, so we need to handle this system of equations. As we have started to see already in different problems, and we will continue to see throughout this chapter and the next, the easiest way to handle these problems where the system comes from tension on either side of the same rope is to add the two equations together. We just add them, everything on the left, so 19.6, minus tension plus tension minus 14.7 and then separately everything on the right 2a plus 3a all right running out of space a little bit but over here if we look the negative tension and the positive tension cancel out we have 19.6 minus 14.7 so we'll write that out in our calculators we would get 4.9 and then 2a plus 3a is 5a. So we divide both sides by 5, and we get 0 0.98 meters per second squared is equal to our acceleration a that we're trying to solve. Problem complete. Now to check to see that it makes sense, it is kind of on the smaller acceleration side of the range of values we've found to be normal for blocks um, speeding up and slowing down on ramps. And that's because gravity is pulling us back quite a bit. If we had a slightly steeper uh, ramp, we might not actually be rotating in this direction. And instead, gravity might be pulling us backwards in the opposite direction. So a small number acceleration like this seems perfectly reasonable for this particular situation. All right, we were not asked to find the tension but I'm going to go ahead and show us what that would look like. We would just need to plug this acceleration back into either one of these equations. So tension minus 14.7 equals 3 times 0.98. So tension equals the 3 times 0.98 is 2.94. So 2.94 plus 14.7 and we would get a tension value 17.6 newtons. Not requested in this problem, so you don't have to do this, but just in case you wanted to check, we'll have plenty of situations where we are asking for the tension and we're just plugging our existing number back into either one of these, you should get the same exact answer both times. All right, we've got one last example video for chapter four specifically. 
but next week you will see that chapter 5 problems look remarkably similar to chapter 4 problems. There's just extra steps to deal with uh, because we can create more realistic situations. All right, I will see you in those next videos.